Oh, I watched them all. <laughs> At least those I found first. Uh, the reviews, of course, of the Nikon Z8. And uh, I will be very honest and blunt with you. I want to ride a hype train <laughs> on the release of this camera. And there is a little to talk about and everything could be condensed only in one sentence that Z8 is basically a gripless Z9, losing almost nothing in terms of the core functionality of the camera. The list of things it lost and some things it got is very small. So Z8 is gripless and with it it comes the loss of all the functionality of the control buttons on the grip and the loss of the bigger battery. But uh, you can attach the external grip design for the Z8, making it actually a bigger camera than Z9 with built-in grip. But uh, coming without the grip, it is smaller, uh, lighter and cheaper. The next thing is the second card in the card slot. It is now not a CF Express or XQD, it is an SD card and it is uh, not as fast and cannot support all the video formats and will feel faster when overflowing from the buffer. Also in that department the change of door, now it is the same as on the Nikon Z6 and Z7 uh, without the lock. Some of the reviewers like it, some don't like it. And by the way, about the reviewers, I need to tell them it was the Morn Hilmer my favorite wildlife um, YouTube photographer, uh, the Chris from Petapixel, uh, former DP Review uh, YouTube channel, and uh, Richie Talks, which I should uh, suggest you to watch as the only one review because he had two months of prior experience using this camera and it is super in depth and even has a separate video about the grips. So only one video about Z8, watch the Richie Talks video. And also I attended Steve Perry a live uh, Q&A stream about uh, this camera, but it was not very detailed because he only got it a few hours before the starting of the stream, so he hadn't have a lot of the experience. Continuing about the changes. Oh, so few of them left. Z8 lost the second function button. Uh, which Z9 has below the function 1 and function 2. I don't think it would be that big of a problem. And also it loses uh, the shutter speed dial. So there is no control of that uh, as a separate dial on the top left part of the camera. And you need to control it using the press of the button and uh, one of the control bar dials on the grip. It loses some features built into the grip itself, like the Ethernet port and the GPS model. It's great because it makes uh, the camera cheaper and more accessible. And the last thing it lost is the full magnesium alloy body construction. Now the Z8 is made of the combination of magnesium alloy plates and carbon fiber plates. I think it's good. You don't need to bash the nails with your camera, it doesn't need to be uh, super uh, rugged. Some say it's not uh, very official that uh, weather sealing on the Z8 would be uh, not as uh, tough as on the, the Z9, but uh, we will need to see more reviews and direct comparison in long term to see whether it is so. Now, surprisingly, camera not only got uh, cheaper, lighter and smaller, it also got some new things that Z9 doesn't have. Um, first of all, it's object detection mode detected to airplanes and um, as they say it could cover both commercial and uh, military airplanes. They added second USB-C port, now the camera has two of them, one for data transfer and one for the charging. So in some contexts you can say that if the port is not lost forever because you can use the data transfer USB-C port uh, to put a dongle and connect the Ethernet through the adapter or use directly USB-C as a transfer lane. So I think this is great. And that's basically it. Uh, very small list of changes um, making great uh, choice for the wildlife photography and uh, you can honestly say that it is 
the best all-around uh, camera Nikon produced in its price category. Will I buy this camera? Uh, to be honest, no at this moment, uh, because with my rate of savings I will need to wait for two years uh, to compile uh, that amount of cash to buy this uh, camera new from the store. And we'll see, because uh, honestly I'm hoping that Nikon will re release uh, the cropped sensor camera with this autofocus uh, technology and sensor technology um, at around $2,000 because I'm using it with my 400 uh, f4.5 and I'm also often cropping and I don't want to use uh, TC, I want a small uh, camera sensor with high pixel density. So that's it. Mm, thank you for watching, please uh, support my channel, subscribe to me and watch another video about Nikon Z6, about Z lenses I was using, because I have 15 years of experience in photography as an amateur photographer, currently using Nikon Z6 camera for more than 4 years and also have in-depth review about that. Have a nice day, goodbye!